So I recently did a piece on the Republican proposed Fair Tax Act, which is ultimately just a massive tax giveaway to the ultra rich and would be a disaster for our society as a whole. The entire thing is like a Koch brothers wet dream, but I wanted to expand on what else would go if we got rid of all federal taxes, and that would be the IRS. The same group proposing a complete reimagining of our tax system are the people who've been working to undermine and underfund our tax collectors for decades. And no, it's not because they're looking out for us, the little guy. It's so the department wouldn't have the budget to go after the big guys. America leaves trillions of dollars on the table every year in unpaid taxes because the IRS doesn't have the budget to audit the people who are truly ripping us off. The IRS is understaffed and backlogged and hopelessly archaic. They don't even have enough people to answer the phones to answer taxpayer questions. In fact, last year, 13% of phone calls were answered at the IRS. 13%. In 2022, the IRS had a backlog of 4.7 million unprocessed individual returns. You're waiting on your tax return? That's why. Their tech is so outdated that they were still entering every paper tax return into the computer manually. But when the Democrats passed the Inflation Reduction Act, they included $80 billion over the course of the next 10 years to fund the IRS. And because of that bill, since August, the IRS has hired over 5,000 new customer service agents to answer the phones. They've upgraded their services so taxpayers can ask questions now to an automated system. They've invested in technology that, among other things, allows them to scan incoming tax returns to make them digital and move the entire process along. And it's working. That 4.7 million backlogged returns last year has become 400,000 this year. Is it totally fixed? No, but the money is doing what it's supposed to be doing to improve the functioning of an essential government agency. In fact, the $80 billion investment is on track to boost federal revenue by more than $124 billion over the same 10 years. So not only will this investment ultimately not cost the taxpayer anything, it'll bring in money, saying nothing of the trillions of dollars they could make if they had the money and manpower to ensure the biggest tax cheats started to pay their fair share of the tax burden. So when you see that one of the first things the House Republicans did when they got back into power was to pass a bill to strip the IRS of that approved money, then you have to wonder what they're doing. They told the public it was just because the IRS wanted to hire 87,000 new agents to build an army of tax collectors to ruin your life. But that was honestly just a blatant lie, a scare tactic to get voters to support what they really want, which is to continue to underfund the one group that can make their donors pay up. As I said in another rant, the 87,000 employees are to be hired over the course of that same 10 years, and they're meant to reflect everything from janitorial staff to people who are retiring. The Republicans just don't want the IRS to have enough money to go after the people who sign their donation checks and keep them in power. They underfund and undercut the IRS at every turn. So it's not really a big leap to propose a bill that would get rid of the IRS altogether. Their new tax proposal would have the Treasury Department collecting taxes, not the IRS. So the IRS would become, in essence, a completely obsolete institution that would end up being dissolved. Mission accomplished. And since we're talking about Republican missions, by switching from income tax and payroll tax to a universal sales tax, the other victim would be Social Security. Despite what you might hear people argue, we know Republicans want to get rid of Social Security because they wrote it down in their 11-point plan before the midterms, and because Social Security is one of the things they want Biden to agree to make cuts to in order for them to agree to lift the debt ceiling and pay America's bills. Social Security is currently a hostage of the Republican policies. But since Social Security is funded by payroll tax, and this bill proposes we stop paying payroll tax, then Social Security would be out too. As I've said before, this bill won't pass, nor will the cuts to the IRS funding, not with the Democrats controlling the Senate and the presidency. But the fact that Republican leadership is literally towing the line of the worst of the worst libertarian donors should alarm everyone. This is what they want. This is what they will do if they ever get back in power. They aren't even pretending to be reasonable anymore. Just like with Roe, their donors have spent 50 years getting to this point, and they're not going to stop now that they have politicians in line to accomplish their tax-free wish list. Look, none of us like taxes, but we understand that we need them to keep our society running. What we want is for our tax dollars to work for us and not to continue working for the very richest people and corporations who make us shoulder their tax burden. The IRS needs to be funded because we don't want to keep paying their bills. We see you and we're not doing it anymore.